guys, what's going on? I'm working on an ice machine today, doing a little bit of maintenance. Let me show you what I'm doing. Okay guys, we gotta do some maintenance today, so let's get started on this ice machine. It doesn't matter if it's heating, cooling, refrigeration, exhaust fans, it all needs to be maintained. It's always good to consult with the manufacturer, go through the literature with the, the piece of equipment to find out what needs to be done. So You could be changing filters, belts, cleaning coils, flushing drains, checking wiring, checking charge, okay? It's all part of maintenance. Now, what I'm doing right now, I just wanna show you guys, just a visual, got nice, clean, crisp ice, okay? There's no odor to it, everything seems fine. I have tasted it, it's all good. I did clean this ice machine not too long ago, but today I will be changing out the water filter, okay? Now, the water filter, have it right here. Ice machine's on the other side of the wall. What I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna shut off the machine out there, I'm gonna valve it off, drain this down, change out the filter. But, they require you to flush so many gallons of water out because these things get jostled around and just from the manufacturer process. They want you to do that in case there's little debris and all that, it doesn't get jammed in any orifices or get stuck and plugged out in the ice machine. So I will show you why we have to flush them. Now, the reason why we use water filters, okay, it's basically the lifeblood of the ice machine. I mean, it's just the water that comes in and actually it makes your ice, okay? It's no brainer, you gotta keep it clean and clear. Now, here in Pittsburgh, we use city water, okay? City water, in some locations, people complain about, you can taste some chlorine, you can taste something, it has an odor to it. Well, the reason why we use water filters, this separates contaminants, odors, um, mineral deposits, it, it, it keeps it nice, clean, and clear going to the ice machine. Now, once again, always follow manufacturer specifications on what you should be using. Uh, this one in particular is from New Calgon. It's a Micro Plus number eight, okay? Easily picked up at any of your supply houses, okay? It's good, simple, easy. Um, now, typically four to six months on this particular one for this location. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off, drain it down, and I'll show you guys how we do this next. Okay, guys. You're gonna come up and loosen the screws. Okay, Whoop, a little bit more. Getting ahead of myself. There we go. Oh, wow. Boom, 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 boom. Okay off okay here we go shut off your water you can shut it off from an auxiliary source or right there at that convenient point now we will go ahead and just drain this down there is pressure in here you're going to get some water on the floor regardless it's going to happen so if you can grab a mop ahead of time or some cardboard or something just to try to soak it up it would be great now so we are valved off so we're going to drop some pressure here Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Loosen that. There we go. Okay. And loosen her up. I got a bucket down the floor here on the on the floor, so. Got to do what you got to do. Okay. Okay, so we have our old filter out. We're gonna reuse these brass fittings. So go ahead, take your wrench. You're just gonna take them on out. So remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Uh, it would be a good idea to use a wire brush to clean off those threads a little bit because we will be putting brand new Teflon tape on there. So go ahead and do that. 
Okay guys, putting some Teflon tape on there. Okay, take a brand new filter. Gonna pop off these blue clips. Actually, why am I not putting my safety glasses on? Everybody should catch that. I'm gonna catch hell for it. Okay. Go ahead, gently spin it in finger tight. Then use your wrench and tighten her up. You don't have to go too tight on this. Just make it nice and snug. There we go. Do this one as well. Now the Teflon tape makes a big difference so you don't have water leaks. Okay. Ah, it doesn't hurt. Clean up after yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna put this, it does have an arrow and I was not prepared, there it is. Arrow, be sure to be in this direction for flow is correct. So, I like to aim it out. I'm glad they mounted it up here where I can reach it instead of hidden behind a unit on the wall where I have to crawl around to get to it. So thank you for whoever originally installed it right up here. This is nice. Hopefully you're watching this video. All right. Tighten her up. Okay. Now, got a nice clear jug. Empty. Watch this. Brand new. This is why you flush them. You don't want that going in your ice machine, people. Looks like grape juice. That's why they want you to flush them. Could you imagine your ice coming out looking like this or plugging up those orifices? Okay, dump her out. Okay, here we go again. Notice it's a little bit clearer. I don't think a manufacturer recommends that, but I like to. A lot clearer, looking better. Keep doing it, keep flushing it until it comes out clear. Let's do one more just for show. couple more but not on camera just to let it flush itself Okay guys, after when you got that all flushed, go ahead and put that bottom one on. My wrenches. Okay guys, you can simply just turn your water back on. You go ahead and turn on your ice machine and then we can harvest some ice. Throw out those first couple batches and always test it by tasting it. Okay. 
Now for a taste test. Have a good day. It's all good.